Hey guys, so they're working at four in the floor today in the barn. It's about 8 a.m. now, they got started a half hour ago. up the feeding for this morning just got to run this little batch out for these heifers We just feed these heifers once a day, mix a batch after we do the main cow batch in the morning. Dad dried up five cows this morning, so we're gonna chase these down to the dry cow barn. Two more to do after these three. They're about halfway done with the floor now already. Do this hole into this pit that we wanted to get filled in. We stuck some rebar into the sides, drilled holes into it, and then they they attached two by fours underneath. So they'll pour concrete on that now. Should work pretty good. Got a bucket of tools. The job we're gonna be working on this morning is in the second harvest door silo. This is the one that we had a bunch of junk feed in. We had the service guys out to look at it and they actually found a little hole in the, the vent up at the top, some sort of air vent. It's supposed to be a sealed silo, but there's a pressure vent or something that was rusting and it was letting more air in. I think that was the cause of all the spoiled feed. So we got that fixed, that's a good thing. One thing that wasn't done is the silo and loader was not short armed. Once the silo gets empty, you need to shorten the cutter arm in there for when you start filling it again. I've made some videos on us long arming this unloader, which is when we pull the whole thing out and work on it outside. But you can short arm it inside the silo. It's a little bit easier of a job. You just have to climb in there to work on it. Once you're in there, it's really not too bad. I'm gonna take this little door off and then we can get in there and start working. So we're inside the harvest store now. So this is the main arm that goes around, has knives on it. It's pretty sharp. And they cut into the feed, pull it to the center, and it drops down into a conveyor that takes it out underneath there. 
straight out of the silo. So when we first fill it, we don't want the arm coming the whole way out to the edge of the silo. I want to shorten it a little bit to about here. And that way when we start feeding, it'll create a little bit of a dome type thing inside the feed. And then we extend the arm again and then after that feeds the whole way around. It's easier on the unloader this way because it doesn't have to cut in quite as much feed at first when it's making its first cut around. And then after that, it kind of has the space created. So there's a spring inside of here, putting tension on this chain. We're gonna loosen that first, and then we can take the chain apart and we'll remove this little section right there. We just realized this little lid is just about completely destroyed. Dad went to actually pick up another, undo one of these parts. Loosening up the tension now. Get this section out. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're good. Got the chain back together. So now the arm's just a foot and a half shorter. I just need to tighten it back up. So I got it all tightened back up. There's a bearing that put grease in at the end and there's a couple grease fittings that we have to hit in here. to go always good to have that job done Let's see if I got this concrete done
I just went for a little drive this afternoon to get some parts for the sprayer. Wanted to get these drop nozzles. These are for putting fertilizer down on corn. So we'll be putting these on the sprayer in the next couple weeks. Also got another set of nozzles that we can run a lower rate of spray than the nozzles we currently have. Got a couple extra nozzle bodies just for spares. Now we're getting a little bit more rain. Getting a bunch more rain. We're so dry for a few weeks there. Now we've had about five inches of rain in the last week. We got all the curbs in the back done. The floor is poured. I don't know how well you can hear me because of how loud this rain is. So they put grooves in the floor. So there's a little bit of grip just to keep the heifers from slipping. They put ramps on the edges. This will be where we drive into the pen to add bedding or clean it out. They put a four inch ramp and they're gonna pour a little concrete area outside too. There's gonna be a curb here as well. You can see how these water troughs worked out. The water trough will just set right on top of here. We'll be able to hook this water line up. 